Hey everyone, it's Scott again with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I'm going to do today is show you a cool little technique where you can create custom frames just like this with just a few steps and it's using clipping masks and I'm going to show you how simple it is and a lot of times people get kind of nervous when they hear the term mask or clipping or any of that stuff and I'm going to show you how super easy this is. Now you can see right here what we have uh, and actually this bottom layer you really can't tell what it is but I'll share with you in a minute what that is that created this background to give it these uh, colors in there that kind of match this color uh, and also the edge going around here how I was able to adjust that and I can continue to adjust that and a little drop shadow so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you here so let's get started so let's create a new uh, a new layer or a new uh, canvas and I'm not even going to title it it's going to be 5 by 5 by 300 resolution we'll click OK Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is create a shape. Now you're going to have to find some shapes, usually they come installed. Uh, this one is I believe a standard one that came within Photoshop. But I'm just going to grab this one right here. So this is a custom shape or a, uh, if you go here to the, um, to all your tools, you may have rectangular tool there. If you just hold that down, you'll see a bunch of these pop up. You want to go to custom shape tool. And then from there I'm going to fill it with black and it doesn't really matter the color that you fill it with but then I'm just gonna stretch it out something like that alright and we can play around with that so don't worry about getting that exact right now I'm just gonna move it into position like that alright so now what I what I need to do is I, I need to have an image that I'm gonna want to to uh, put underneath this now there's a other different ways a bunch of different ways you can do this I mean I could flatten this and then cut this out and then use that as my overlay I've done it that way and I sometimes still do it that way but this in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to use a clipping mask because it's super easy. So now what I want to do is take an image like this one right here which this is one from our Digital Creations Club called Keep On Trucking and uh, I love it it's so adorable and uh, anyway so what I want to do is I want to use that image so we're going to just drag that image into this particular one that we're working on. Now I'm going to get it so it's somewhat centered to where I want it to be alright it doesn't have to be but I'm just gonna do that anyway and then what we're gonna do it's very simple here just go to layer and then go to oops layer create clipping mask and then look at that instantly it cuts the image but it doesn't really cut it it just masks it so that's the cool thing because now as long as I'm on this layer and I'm on my pointer tool I can move this around without moving the shape see so I can go just like that and then you can see we've got a nice cut out I can move it wherever I want you know I can adjust it up down wherever it doesn't matter okay so I'm gonna leave it there so we can continue to keep moving here and uh, and that's it that's all you have to do so now I've created that right so now what I want to do is create that edge that I was talking about alright so now what I want to do is go back to my shape and I'm gonna go layer style stroke okay and let me bring that over here and then from there I want to go to the color I'm going to grab a color in here and I can always play with that afterwards and I'm just going to bring this the size of it whoops after I say that I want to choose that color and then I just want to go ahead and bring this up so it's thicker so let me go to something like that and then while I'm in here I'm going to go to drop shadow and I'm going to then from from there make sure that I'm selected on that and then I'm going to just take the distance until I can start to see it see there I can see it so I'm going to bring it back and then I'm going to just take the size of it and I'm going to blur it a little bit so we'll just go with that for now okay so that looks pretty cool and then I want to get my background to be something different so all I did there was I took this again brought it in okay and it's down underneath now now see how that's kind of that wouldn't look good if I did that I want to go to filter and then I want to go to blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to crank that right on up to, well, I did about 117, 120-ish, somewhere in that area until you, you like it. And then just click OK. And then I've got a nice little card there. It's a 5x5, five five, right? And then you can see this is, isn't quite equal to this. Now I can either move it, I can either click on this and move it like this to where I want it. Or I can just simply stretch to where I want it. I can even do it up and I can go down. Or I can bring it the other way if I want to bring it in. Maybe I want to do that. And maybe I want to bring this in a little bit. You get the idea. And then just click the pointer, click apply, and then you're good to go. Then we've got our image there. 
So that's as simple as it is. You've seen how fast that was. And uh, you can use this with multiple objects and multiple images and make collages. And you can have a blast with this stuff. And the other cool thing is, though, you can create custom cards or collages for your clients if you have clients. And uh, you can then offer them something that they can't get anywhere else. And that's what's really cool, too. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this short little lesson. Uh, once again, my name is Scott with newportraitbiz.com. I hope you got a lot out of this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any, uh, any other ideas that you'd like to see me create in the future. I'd really enjoy that. And uh, that's it. So if you want any more information from us about more lessons like this or digital backgrounds and props and Photoshop tutorials, all that stuff, you can head over to newportraitbiz.com and there's a whole bunch of information over there waiting for you. So you can go ahead and uh, dive into that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, you'll get all of our updates in the future of uh, when we post a new video. So that's it. All right. So again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. I'll talk to you later.